Hey everybody, welcome back again to another video. So we got Sony fanboys over here being toxic yet again. What do I mean? So let's find out then. Uh, as Odd AI pretends to be, Phil Spencer receiving death threats from Xbox fans for not making called in Xbox exclusive. Uh, oh, you're about to get exposed again, like you always are. Uh, as Matt Kim, the the author of this quote unquote article, put. Can't believe I need to say this, but no. The screenshots floating around with my byline is not a real IGN story, and IGN does not take content down as, as formal policy. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, congratulations, Aria. You just got bitch slapped into oblivion again, like you always are. Anyway, this is under that set, same tweet. Does that article even exist? Nope. It, it, it existed. It was taken down as well. I think it should be for the better because it's IGN and the staff is going to get it next. You know how angry people can get on the, in the internet. Um, that, what, do you not know, do you not know how to say on the internet, I am Akira? Have you ever heard of that phrase? Uh, and again, again, Matt Kim shut that shit down real quick. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the only mistake you made was sharing a screenshot without first verifying it, whether it was fake or not. Instead, you wanted to add to the anti-Xbox echo chambers like Adi always does, and, and he looks like a damn idiot. On it, apologize for spreading misinformation, be better, and move on. Fucking facts. Fucking facts. Anyway. Anyway, uh, this is a quote tweet from, from someone I know. You know who quote tweeted Salt King, who is a notorious Sony fanboy YouTuber. Justice discussed this the time you faked hospital visits. Scam your followers out of money so you could buy a Series X. The only difference in this article is fake like your love of gaming. Clown emoji. Because he is one. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you serious? Oh, 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 oh. You, you ponies are so retarded. So freaking retarded. You. And you, th and you think Xbox are, are retarded and toxic? Well, you you motherfuckers are way worse from as far as I can see. Because let me freaking show you. You have you ponies have your own history of sending death threats. You even do it to developers at your own freaking companies that you sim for. So we have a lot of Pierce who is a writer on God of War Ragnarok. This was after the game got delayed out of 2021. Which is now coming out this year. Aside from the ones I got... Be, for being hired in the first place, I think this is the first game dev related abuse message I finally been initiated. Look at me go. My mom, you get hired, then God of War is delayed first time ever. Too busy dreaming about getting, I'm not reading that, by all your simp Twitch subs to actually do work. My mom, I hope it happens and someone streams it and you get fired because they all know you're a useless, I'm not saying that, and the game comes out 2021 and PlayStation 5 only. Then we, then we got another example. Of it, with Laura Bailey, who was the voice actor for Abby and Last of Us 2, because we all know how controversial the plot of that game is. Some man, I try to only post positive stuff on here, but sometimes this just gets a little overwhelming. I blocked out some of the words because, you know, spoilers. I know. Thank you to all the people sending me positive messages to balance it out. It means more than I can say. Like, you see, you see why people make fun of Saudi fanboys so much? Because they're literally what they accuse others of. And they get ratioed into goddamn oblivion so much. Because they're a bunch of freaking idiot, toxic idiots. Uh, who don't practice what they preach. They say, oh, support the devs. But then remember when they got caught, you know, trying to pirate Forza Horizon 5? Oh, uh, and then I remember when the, that Project Spartacus thing was rumored. They, they were singing up and down saying it was going to kill Game Pass and all that crap. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey. I'll be the first to admit it. I was wrong about, you know, Call of Duty going exclusive after, you know, after the deals are up. I was wrong. I'll be the first to say it. I'll be the first to admit it. But, but, oh man, like, if, if, the, if it was true that, you know, Xbox family was sending Phil death threats over it, there would be more articles on it, and, and heck, I'd be making a video calling out Xbox fanboys for doing that, because that is uncalled for. No. I don't think so. That is uncalled for. But the fact that it was proven that no other articles were making it, only this supposed IGN one did, how fucking, 
How fucking sick in the head do you, are you on AI to, to make that up? Something as serious as freaking de death threats. Like, are you really that sick in the head? Uh what a man child, really. Where did Phil where did where did Xbox hurt you? Huh? Tell me where tell me where they touched you, huh? Tell me. Where, huh? Oh wait, they didn't, so you need to grow the fuck up. It's all video games at the end of the day. Anyway, anyway, I think I think that's the that's about right it up for this video, so tell me what you think. So if you like the button, you know, hit hit that like button, it'll help appreciate it. And if you dislike it, just hit that button as well. It it'll create increased engagement. And comment down below what do you think and if you could sit and if you was so kindly please consider subscribing to the channel if not oh well and i hope to see you all in the next video bye